lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel. So if you guys didn't know, when Sweetie and Quavo first broke up, Sweetie posted to her Twitter and let everybody know that Quavo actually cheated on her. Now after she posted that, fans were very upset at Quavo, basically going on him, bashing him because he cheated on Sweetie. Well, that's when Quavo's sister decided to step in and say some things about Sweetie. She posted to her Insta story and she said, I have been quiet long enough. I see how this is turning to a bash fest towards my brother and that ain't about to happen at all none of y'all know how sweetie is in real life but i do and it ain't good at so all so basically quavo's sister was insinuating that sweetie is not the person that everybody thinks that she is and she was standing up for her brother against fans who was bashing him well it looks like she's still standing up for her brother even to this day against sweetie because we all know yesterday was was the BET Awards of course sweetie showed up and she had two looks one look was the purple dress very revealing nice pretty dress that she had on and then her second look was this red dress now when sweetie came out in the red dress she was walking pretty slow on stage and when she got to the mic she let everybody know that the dress that she had on was very heavy and that's why she was walking slow well Quavo's sister decided to shade sweetie and she posted to her insta story and said girl if you don't get it and then she posted a gif of someone walking very slow then she said i love it here and then she said you're almost there but you gotta be quicker than that so it seems like quavo's sister still has some type of beef with sweetie she's still not over sweetie and quavo's break up and that is kind of well to be expected because these two haven't even been broken up for a whole year yet but i don't know why she feels the need to you know publicly post shade towards sweetie i just don't feel like that was right especially because sweetie is just off minding her business now from what i have seen i haven't seen sweetie say a lot about quavo his sister his family or anything like that she's just minding her business doing her but it seems like some of quavo's family members still can't let the whole situation go now another thing that it could be is that quavo can't let the situation go he could still be bringing up sweetie's name to his family members and people around him he still could even be heartbroken about the situation so that's probably why his sister feels like she has the right to say something or shade sweetie because she's probably like look you broke my brother's heart but then again it is a little childish like we're not in middle school anymore like why do you feel like you have to stand up for your brother your brother is a grown man he can fight his own battles if he has to if you know he broke up with a girl and she's from the past leave that situation in the past like he is why are you still bringing her up why are you still shading her but y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below do you think Quavo is still bringing up Sweetie's name do you think that he's still heartbroken about her or do you feel like his sister is just still upset about the situation and that's why she felt the need to shade Sweetie let me know let me know anyway Anyways, let's move on into Miss Koyla Ray. Now, we all know that Koyla Ray was at the BET Awards yesterday as well. And of course, she was stunting with her boo, Pressa, of course. And she was wearing this really, you know, different outfit to the BET Awards. I have to say, she's like the first female that I've seen who wasn't wearing the casual like dress. She decided to do something different and I think that's very cool. Look, if that's her style, that is her style. But of course, a lot of people had a lot to say and they were only talking about her outfit. They were also talking about her body, which is definitely going too far. And at this point, it's giving body shaming. But let's talk about Koyla Ray responses that she you know posted on her twitter and she said my body is always trending i don't understand in the bible is it a sin to be thin help me understand is there a certain way that i'm supposed to look help me understand i hope y'all mothers got beach body and that last comment slash clapback was definitely necessary because i don't understand at this point i thought we were over the whole 
body shaming thing. I don't understand why people always have something to say about Coyla Ray's body or they always have something to say about Lizzo's body or a celebrity's body. And it's just giving insecure at this point. If you have anything to say about anybody's body negatively, then it's giving very insecure because if you were comfortable in your own skin, you wouldn't be uncomfortable about how someone else looks. Not everybody is going to be thick not everybody is going to be shaped like a coke bottle and that is okay people can be different people can be unique and that's one of the things that i like about coila ray is that she's different she likes to be unique and she likes to keep her regular size she doesn't feel the need to get anything done and god forbid that this girl actually go in and get something done because of all of the negativity that she gets online about her body at this point leave coila ray alone she is beautiful and as long as she loves her body that's all that matters i mean you don't see her man complaining about it and her man is the one who has to be around her and deal with her body and everything like that if y'all know what i mean so i don't understand why everybody else is complaining it's crazy to me i mean i've seen people even complain about how young she looks which is just like looking young is a blessing like what do you mean like how are you trying to joan on somebody for looking young that does not make sense but that's social media for you these days they will find a way to make something positive negative let's pray for social media guys anyways last but not least i wanted to talk about this situation with ari allegedly ghosting her fans now basically a couple of weeks back ari uploaded this video onto her instagram basically let and her fans know that she would be meeting up with them at a club in Baltimore, Maryland called Euphoria on June the 26th, which is the same day at the BET Awards. Now, to make a long story short, basically, Ari did not show up at the club. She decided to go to the BET Awards instead to see her man, Moneybag Yo, perform and to be with him. Now, of course, this made a lot of fans upset because they were expecting to see her at that club now ari has not responded to any of her fans even though she has gotten tons of messages and tons of comments and posts about it she hasn't really said anything we don't know if she you know is going to respond sometime soon but at this point, you know, it doesn't seem like she's worried about it. Now, the promoter for this club did actually speak out and say something about Ari. And they actually tagged Ari. They said, so it's just kind of sad that I honestly have to do this. But it really seems like Ari doesn't care about her fans in Baltimore. And I'm never the one to do anything like this on Instagram. But after multiple attempts, it seems like this is what it has resulted in. I do good business and this has me really heartbroken. And one thing about it is the money was right. It was always there. This girl ain't show up because she wanted to be in LA. And if you knew that was the case, why would you agree to do a darn date? Like be real with everybody because eight hours ago you posted some drinks in LA. Now it seems like this promoter and fans, you know, are very upset with Ari still to this day because like I said, the situation just happened yesterday and it is kind of shocking and surprising that Ari hasn't said anything about this or addressed this whole situation because usually she does speak out about, you know, fans going on her or something like this happening and getting posted on the T pages, but she has not had anything to say. So it definitely seems like she knows that she's in the wrong and she just does not care. But then again, her man is performing at the BT awards it's still not an excuse i understand because she could have let people know ahead of time that she wasn't going to show up she knew she was going to them bet awards but anyways guys y'all let me know what y'all feel about this situation and the other two situations in my comments below once again my lovely tts thank you for watching room for tea make sure make sure make sure you like comment and subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next video